In this video, you will learn how to insert this multiple bar graph with three series of data. You can see here I have the data regarding the production of cotton during different months in three consecutive years, which is 2017, 18, 19. You can see here first column shows the month and other three column shows the year's data. Now from here you can see here that the first data series shows the production of cotton during different months of 2017. Second series shows the production of cotton during different months of 2018. And third series shows the production of cotton during different months of 2019. So here I have three series of data which is 2017 year, 2018 year and 2019 year. In this tutorial, we will learn how to generate this graph using three series of data. So let's move to next sheet where I have already entered the data. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. So let's start this tutorial. Before the start of this tutorial, make sure you have arranged your data like this one. You can see I, I did not write month here. I have intentionally left this cell blank. So always remember when you want to generate this graph, uh, left this cell blank. Otherwise, the Excel will not be able to properly generate your graph. So that's the first trick. After that, select this data. Go to this insert tab. In insert tab, you will find the option of charts. In charts, you will find the option of insert columns or bar chart. Select here and from these graphs, select clustered column chart. And here you have generated your graph. Now we will completely, we will conditionally format this graph to so that it looks attractive. Currently it is not looking good. First I will resize it so it will be more visible for you. Next task is to remove these grid lines. Go to this chart element option. Sorry, I will check it. I will click it again and I will remove grid lines. Simply uncheck this option. Grid lines are removed. Next, I want to insert axis title. Simply select this title. That's fine. Now I will change the chart title. Select this one, you can see here it is selected, which is indicated by these circles. Simply put equal sign. Select this cell which contain title and press enter. Your title will be changed. There is another method which we will use here. Simply select axis title and I want to change it without selecting cell. So I will simply write anything in formula bar and I will press enter to change this axis title. For example, I will write here production in thousand bills. After writing your title axis title in formula bar, press enter and you can see here it is changed. Similarly, select this one, write month here. Press enter and it will be checked. Now I want to adjust their font size. Select this one, go to home tab. And from here I will select 12. Now I will change its color to black and I will select bold option. Now I will want to copy this format and format this axis like this one instead of inserting individual. So you can see here it is already selected. Go to this format painter, double click on it and when you click anywhere it will be formatted like this one see the magic click here 
then click here this exit title this legend and this title now adjust the font size of title to 18 now i want to change their color i want to insert a border around them and i want to insert a solid line with tick marks on axis to make it more attractive so let's start this the conditional formatting further select click here right click go to format axis option and i want to change the minimum value which is currently 0 to 1000 now in major unit i want to change it to 1000 instead of 500 you can see currently the difference between these two is 500 and i will change it to 1000 click here now this is adjusted now if you scroll down you will find the option of tick marks I want to insert both major and minor tick marks on outside I will select outside and here I will select outside now go to fill and line option and in line option there is two option first one is fill left that one go to line option select solid line select black color and adjust their width to 1.5 feet now select other axis click here and follow similar step select line color black width 1.5 pt and to insert tick marks go to this series option and from here you will find the option of tick marks uh, outside and outside now we will format these bars click any data series right click go to format data series option and if you want to remove the gap between these data series simply write zero here gap will be removed if you want to adjust gap width you can use this option now go to fill and line option and i want to change it to green color and i want to insert a border around it i will select solid line in border black color is already selected and from here i will adjust its width to one point 5 pt similarly select other data series select any on one bar and in fill option select solid fill change their color i will select green scroll down select solid line in border and 1.5 Similarly, select third data series, select your desired color, firstly select solid fill, select your desired color, now scroll down, in border select solid line, select color of line which is already selected black, so I will not change it and change its width. So you can see here we have completed the formatting of this graph. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Goodbye.